Hi, James. Yeah, I'm hoping to kind of get uh, your perspective on the last few days and, you know, obviously the missed COVID test and just how that situation all went down. Um, just because uh, I make mistakes, uh, I'm human, and I completely forgot about the first two days of COVID testing, but I tested the last two days. But yeah, I completely forgot, but I'm human, and like, I, and I made a huge mistake, but I'll most definitely not do that again because that just, um, yeah, I just got to make sure that I just be disciplined in terms of that. So, yeah. Did you know that would lead to, or like, how did you find out that you weren't going to be able to practice uh, yesterday? Just due to the NBA protocols, um, one of the staff members told me that I, that I wasn't gonna be able to practice um, yesterday. But I mean, it's I, well, I mean, it's fine. Like I just made a mistake, but uh, I made sure that I apologized to coach and told him, told him that I'm not gonna do that again, and just make sure that I pay attention to little stuff like that and just get that done. Did Steve just come to you pregame yesterday and say you weren't gonna play the first half, or how did that go down? Yeah, um, that, um, that conversation is between me and coach, but uh, I was just ready to go out there and just play hard. And just whenever he called my name, I was ready. James, how frustrating was it to, you know, have to be able to be sitting out the, well, most of the game? Uh, it was frustrating. Um, but as a man, I take accountability for my mistakes. But, uh, but as soon as he called my name, I was ready to go out there and play hard and just um, play my role and just play my minutes. So, yeah. James, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. James, how would you define your relationship with Steve Kerr? Great relationship. I actually talk to him uh, every two days, tell him, I like, ask him questions about like how can I get better each day and like how can I improve? And he gives me like a lot of details on like how can I improve on both ends of the floor, especially especially defense. So just really just getting better at that aspect and just trying to just go at it every day and just work hard. James, what do you think about the nature of your mistake being so public? You know, everybody knows that you you did this, um, but also having an opportunity to be accountable for it. Yeah, um, again, I'll take accountability for my mistakes. Um, even though I'm still 19, I'm very mature, and, like, I know what I'm supposed to do. So, uh, I mean, I seen it yesterday, but uh, they really didn't – like, I'm really not down about that. I just made a mistake as a human being. And, but I'm most definitely going to um, just keep – Staying self-disciplined and make sure that I just get those little things done every day. So, James, you said obviously you still have half a season to go, but up until this point, uh, how do you think your rookie year have has gone based on your expectations coming in? Um, Jason, I would say it's going great so far. Just having a lot of ups and downs, but still learning and uh, not backing down from the challenge. Just still going, at, just still going at it every day and practicing and just asking questions. So it's been a great first half of the season, but I'm most definitely way more focused and locked in for the second half. James, what did Stefan Draymond say to you uh, about missing the test? I just make sure that um, I have, just make sure I'll be on time, make sure that I'll be self-disciplined. But uh, I mean, this is just a mistake, one mistake that's not going to happen again. And just make sure that I just stay on top of that. That's all really. Uh, James, has something like this ever happened to you before? No. Um, well, I mean, it's the first time that all of us went through a pandemic, so it's kind no, of. No, I mean, I, I mean, making a mistake on when you're in college or high school and having your coach discipline you. I mean, I know, sir. I've always been on time. It's just this time I kind of just made a mistake. Did James, you did, you know like you, you? did you know you're going to play in the fourth quarter? Did Steve tell you that, and and what did you think of uh, your play in the in the fourth quarter? Uh, Tim, uh, Steve just told me to be ready. He didn't tell me when I was going to play, but I'm always ready as a player, and I'm just ready to go out there and just. Be productive. To build on that question, James, did you feel like you wanted to send a message in the fourth quarter? Yes, most definitely. Uh, just uh, I was mad, so I just had to make sure that I just go out there and just play hard. Steve said that he uh, likes the fact that you get frustrated when you don't play well because it shows your passion for the game. Um, when you don't play well like in, in the past, you did come back almost every single time. So tonight, what do you think of your overall performance, and where do you think it goes from from here, just going just going forward? Um, I feel like in 12 minutes, Monte, I feel like I played really great. Uh, I was aggressive on the rebounding. Uh, my rebound is getting better because I'm finally because I'm just studying film and just being more aggressive. And really, I'm just going out there and just playing hard, just giving it my all. And every day, um, I just want to better myself and be the best version of myself every day, be better than I was yesterday. So that's really my challenge. Like that's really like my life purpose, just to get better every day and just to keep keep working hard. Is rebounding something that they discuss with you before very often? 
Uh, no, that's something that I discuss with myself because I want to be aggressive and just be better in that area. So, most definitely. Steve categorized it as you playing angry in the fourth. You just said you played mad. Do you need – I mean, even if this isn't the situation, do you need to try to do that uh, on a regular basis? Yeah, I was actually angry at myself because uh, I'm very self-responsible and my mom raised me really well. And I just made a mistake, just like a simple mistake. But, again, I'm human, but I just went out there and we called my name. I was ready to go out there and play and just give them all. It was maybe kind of the motivation of, of something like that. Um, how do you try to maybe – funnel some anger, even if you just kind of make it up, essentially, uh, into your game? Um, I've been doing a lot of, like, self-improvement during the All-Star break, trying to figure out how can I get better. So I'm most definitely coming with a lot of, uh, like, aggressiveness and just playing hard because I feel like that's going to improve my game a lot. So really it's just me just um, making that commitment to myself to just make sure I be aggressive all the time. Kurt said that you're definitely going to be in that second unit. You would have been in there tonight. Uh, with Poole and Mannion. How do you think that's going to work? Do you think you've got some, you know, it's early, but do you have some chemistry with those guys? Yes, most definitely, Tim. I have a lot of chemistry with those guys, and we talk about basketball all the time, uh, like on and off the court, and we just gel together, especially in practice, and just build that chemistry up because we know that we can play really good together, so we just try to build that chemistry up. James, do you still feel you're learning from uh, Draymond and Steph all the time? Yes, Jim. Uh, I'm really just learning every day, learning from Steph, Draymond, all the best on the team, and just trying to um, combine that information and, and just trying to soak it in and just let it permeate throughout my game.